We heard the scream coming from over here. Uh huh. It was about 20 till 2 in the morning, and it sounded like all the dogs had been going crazy all over the neighborhood for about, you could hear them for about two miles. There's a pond right over there, and about 20 till 2 in the morning, I was laying in bed and I had the windows open and the door open. And I heard it scream, and all of the dogs shut up. And that's what I was listening to, but it screamed for about, oh, maybe two minutes. Okay. Con continuous howl. Um, I had a lot of experience with wolves and coyotes and stuff, so I know that's not what it was. Okay. Um, all of the animals, dead silence. There was no crickets, no anything, no frogs, nothing after that. Um, it's, I stepped out the door, the dogs, jumped off the porch to go attack it. I could see nothing. Um, they get to the middle of the, the road here and they skid to a stop. And then they turned around, came back and ran to the house. But I still didn't get to see anything or hear anything after that, except um, about two weeks later, I heard another howl. It was a short hoop kind of howl. It okay. wasn't an owl or anything. So it was just, um, Whatever it was, sounded huge. So when it did the scream, how long, how many seconds would you say that scream lasted? It lasted almost two minutes. The, a full time. scream, not no, nonstop. It howled, and when it howled, everything else shut up. It it was like they knew not to to tangle with it. The dogs still wanted every. The dogs all over the neighborhood, even instantly, it uh -huh. went quiet. I mean, and it was uh, so loud that when I was laying in bed, I knew that it was somewhere very, very close. It wasn't like a coyote where it's close and, you know, I've had coyotes out in the yard sleeping with my dogs and howl and it sounds like it's way far off. The only way you know it they're there is because the dogs start playing with them. Yeah. Um, this was very close. Okay. I texted him and told him to get out here. He came out here and couldn't find anything or see anything. But it seems like it's making a path from the wetlands over to here and I it, I think it's catching frogs and crawdads. Okay. I really, really do. I mean, it's um, I don't know, it was probably about. Um, I mean, it ain't a big print, but probably about three weeks spot. ago. About how many weeks about ago? Three weeks ago. Don't look to you. A little different. Put your hand there again. Yeah. It does. It does look a little different than the rest of the ground. And every night the dogs bark. Bark and bark, and uh, it could be like possums or coyotes back there feeding. I don't hear the coyotes. Whenever I hear the coyotes, it's way off. And um, I did have one dog that I had another dog that has since she's passed away, but um, she was the first one. She was the attack dog, and she would attack anything, anybody. It didn't care and, unless it was me. She was weird that way, and um, she was the first one to go attack it. And, middle one back, the, the Doberman beat her back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she actually...